Uh, in the education industry, we're very excited about the opportunities that big data presents to us. Big data is here to stay. It's not going away. It's something that's been around for the past couple of years. And we're getting to a point now where we can process massive volumes of information and try to identify trends, patterns, and knowledge and gain knowledge from that data in order to make decisions about our lives that impact us every single day. I like to think of big data as the narrative. What narrative are we trying to tell for success for the students that we're trying to serve? And how do we help them achieve the success that they're trying to, to attain? If we look at big data and we think of it in three primary areas, uh, focus, context, and action. Focus is simply defining the problem we're trying to solve with big data. Context is making sure that the data we have, we understand at what point in time the contextual aspect of that data existed. The third one is action. Once we fully understand the data and the trends and the patterns that we're seeing, how do we set up an action plan for that to actually do something about it? How can educators use big data to achieve success for their students, help them achieve their goals, dreams, and aspirations? Well, by looking at large volumes of data, you can identify which students are successful, look at the patterns and trends of why those students were successful, and then create a series of indicators for the students that may not be successful and help them get onto a corrective path. Not only can big data be used by institutions to help their students, but they can use it to help themselves. So they can improve their course selection process, they can improve their financial aid process, and they can also create a warning system to prevent attrition of students in the future. So honestly, the possibilities for institutions to leverage this data are endless. So my recommendation, if you want to start out looking at a big data initiative for your institution, is involve as many stakeholders as you can in the process, whether it's superintendents, your educators, your teacher, your academic staff, your school counselors, your IT staff. You want to make sure everybody's on the same page with what the goals are for that initiative. Secondly, as you're going through the initiative and getting it underway, you want to continuously refine your goals and what you're looking to achieve by the data. The data is going to change. The data is going to tell you things you may not have even learned before about what you're trying to achieve. So you want to continuously look at that and refine your objectives as you go through. And finally, make sure you're communicating with your local community and sharing that data with the parents, with the students, uh, and making sure they understand why you're taking this data and looking at it in these ways because that's going to be helping drive the way you continue to refine that process moving forward. And finally, and most importantly, you want to make sure with that community that you are respecting their privacy and you're not compromising that in any way whatsoever. So to be successful with a big data initiative, you have to step away from the technology. The technology is just a tool in order for you to achieve your objectives, and that objective is to use big data to tell a narrative, and that narrative is student success.